What's up YouTube, it's Anthony from CompSci Studio and welcome to your first Java Advanced tutorial. So I know it's been a long time since I made a video, I'm really sorry about that, but I was really busy over the summer and I'm going to be actually pretty busy during the school year now uh, because it's my first year at university and I'm taking engineering and the course load is pretty heavy. So whenever I get the time though, I'm going to be making videos for you guys so you guys can learn some new programming and um, I'm probably going to be ending up doing C tutorials for my next tutorial series um, after I finish my game development for Java, of course. But after I'm done with Java, I'm going to be making C tutorials because that's what I'm learning in university. And I know a lot of my classmates are struggling with it, so I'm probably going to make some C tutorials after my game development series. Uh, anyway, let's get started with this advanced tutorial in Java. And if you guys are just tuning in now and you have no idea what Java is, um, I'll leave a link to my first video in my beginner, my, ugh, beginner tutorial series. And uh, you guys can go and watch that before you watch these advanced tutorials. So yeah, let's get started. So this tutorial is actually on a fairly simple idea or concept in Java. And it's called the ArrayList. Basically, an ArrayList is an intuitive way to store different data types and it's a lot easier than using an array with an array you have to um, you add them in using indexes with the um, with the array list you can actually add in and delete and change values very easily instead of using an array so that probably sounds a little confusing but I'll try and clear that up with an example so the first thing in array list you just want to declare the array list object just like any other object that you would declare in Java so let's go array list and we'll call it I don't know, my list and set it equal to new array list and of course just like any other object you end it off with your parentheses and a semicolon so as you can see we have a little error so we need to import the package where array list is stored after that we have our array list created and now we can start adding values to it. So this is, a, as I said, is a very simple concept. Um, I probably could have even put it into the beginner series and you guys would have understood it. So let's go my list dot add. And now we could add whatever the heck we want in here. So let's just add in some names. Anthony, my list dot add, or other name. Let's see, Joe, Jop, what's that, Joe? And my list dot uh, add. I don't know. Let me guess one of your names out there. I don't know. Maybe there's a Chris watching this video. Comment in the description box below if your name is Chris. That'd be pretty sweet. And yeah, so now we've added three names in here. And let's print them out. And it's really easy to print out an array list. Let's just go S out. And you don't even have to do anything special like with arrays. You don't have to index it at all. You could just print out the whole list by typing in my list. Let's save it and run it and see what happens. As you can see, it even formats it for us. It puts it in little nice square brackets, separates it with commas, and it prints out Anthony, Joe, Chris. Um, let's see. Let's Actually, I'll leave it at this for this tutorial, and I'll go over some different methods that you could use in the ArrayList um, class in the next tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.